Hey everybody, Matt here. Uh, surprise little video today. I came over to help Cameron with some car stuff and it looks like we're gonna be changing the exhaust finally on this uh, 2006 Mazda Miata, so let's get at it. Hey everybody, instead of trying to tell you what I'm doing while I'm doing it underneath the car, I'm just gonna do a little narrative in this video. This will be my first time trying to narrate an install, but I hope it goes a little smoother this way and explains exactly what I'm doing. There are two nuts and bolts connecting the stock muffler to the stock mid-pipe that need to be removed. I love impact wrenches. Uh-oh, now we're hanging. After removing the muffler, I moved back to the X brace in the middle of the car. It's there for added rigidity and stiffness. There's four bolts that need to be removed in order to get the mid pipe out. Further towards the front of the car from the X brace, there's one more brace that, that runs uh, side to side, uh, right near the flange where the mid pipe meets the header, and that brace needs to come off as well in order to get the mid pipe out. Okay, slide it out. Go down towards you, Cam. There you go. Here you can see me removing the two studs that hold the mid pipe to the header. They're backed by a couple oh, yeah, springs that are meant to allow a little bit of flexion at okay. the joint. That sucker's out. Stud come with it or stud came? Stud came with it. That one too. Okay. <laughs> belly shot. You bastard. <laughs> I do have a belly right now. Ah. Ah. Cars are stupid. I want a Porsche that just works. Same. <laughs> Someday. Porsche Cayman. I won't get a 911 because the Cayman's actually better. What are you looking at me for? Uh, dramatic effect. Am I supposed to have an opinion? No. no. You can if you want. What, what's your opinion? Um, if I'm buying a Porsche, it's going to be an old one. Oh, I don't like that idea either. Old ones have problems and don't work all the time. Yeah, but they're so much sexier. Yeah. Modern ones are so boring. Yeah. That's what every freaking car enthusiast is. Modern car design that's why, in general. That's why 30 year old 911s now are fucking 80 grand. I know, and it's sad. Even though they're basically out. glorified Beatles. What now? Take it out, do it. That's okay. Um, so I just need somebody to, 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 to hold this mid pipe in. in there. Yeah, there you go. Right here, I'm removing the one exhaust hanger in the middle of the car that helps hold the mid pipe okay. up. So, yeah, now yeah, just drop your uh, jack stand up there. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. There we go. You can slide out the back. This is a lot of stuff. And you also, what she didn't say to me. Uh, you guys just saw pulling the stock mid pipe out, which is over here. He's actually going to be using for his 2.5 swap car, which is above us. And then we come all the way over here, and I get a straight pipe. Look at this sucker. This thing looks nice. Cam, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Not in the back. Yeah. Is that what she said? Maybe. If she's kinky. This isn't going in the video, this audio. <laughs> Oh, so we can say anything we want? Yeah. Custard. <laughs> I kind of want Froyo. I want to eat. Hi. Oh, Hello, hey. puppy. Oh, hey, pup. Hey. I'm just trying to help. First thing I need to do, um, 
Let's lube this fucker up. Just really enjoy this natural light. Cameron, I cross threaded him. Hate you. I'm trying to find a shot. Oh, I can actually see what you're working on. Uh, I'm not sure you have a firm grasp on how much louder this is going to be. I can't wait. So I just put the racing beep mid pipe in, and you can see it's fully straight. There's no resonators, there's no anything. So it's probably going to be loud. And then, furthermore, I'm in place of the stock muffler, which is. Where, where'd the stock muffler go? Oh, this massive thing. This massive thing is the stock muffler. In place of that, we're throwing on a custom muffler Cameron made with 2.5 inch piping. It's got like a street muffler here. And then off the side is a Helmholtz chamber to hopefully help with some of the resonance of the motor or of the exhaust sound. Uh, so we're gonna put that in and get it started up, and I'm really excited to hear what it sounds like. Here, I'm using saliva like an idiot to lubricate the three exhaust hangers before putting my muffler in place and bolting it in with the two bolts. You're a YouTuber, you gotta say something like, like a nice quip, like, mmm, tastes like victory. Mmm, tastes like victory. Oh, fuck yeah. One down. No cussing, this is a Christian YouTube channel. What? I said no cussing, this is a Christian YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel, bitch. Oh, that's not working. Okay, I gotta do it by hand. It's gonna be fucking loud. Cam, is it supposed to touch? Touch what? Exhaust? Exhaust, yeah. Am I putting this on wrong then? Are you filming? Yeah. Here, come a little closer. I want to explain what I'm doing. So just to explain what I'm doing right now, this X brace underneath the car with the new uh, mid pipe right here is actually touching the flange on the mid pipe right in here, if you can see. Um, when I pushed all the way up. So what we're doing is making some uh, redneck spacers out of six washers a piece and putting them on the backside here to lower this X brace down. Uh, and that's how we're gonna do it. Well, okay. And you just got dark. Is that good? It'll work. It's better anyway? It only needs to be. So You're not like a uh, yet to be lock unlocked character in a video game anymore, so that's nice. Good. After installing the X brace with the redneck spacers, we're now installing the brace that goes further up towards the front of the car, kind of underneath the muffler and the mid pipe joint. Ah, fuck that. Oh, that fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah, my fucking knuckle just That's wonderful. Okay. Working on cars is fun, everybody. Just keep on telling myself that. You see my knuckle? Some like fucking crybaby, but that hurts like a bitch. I wonder if it'll start bleeding. I think it already is a little bit. Well this one already is, but No, no, no. I, I can only see some red one. on the middle finger. Yeah, that's good. Just a hair. I think it's just under the skin, maybe. This is why you always wear fucking gloves. You should have worn gloves. Yeah, because a little rubber glove was going to make the difference no, in mean, that situation. No, I mean, like, actual work gloves. Oh. I should be wearing, like, some decent mechanics gloves right now, but... Yeah, and you should well, anyway, probably be wearing safety glasses. That's the, that's the exhaust, so I, we need to get it off the lifts and fire it up, and I need to go fucking wash my hands. So when I was under there, the Miata finally drew first blood. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Time to start it. I'm excited. I'm really excited. 